welcome to another edition of Judgment Day, where we judge people online, which is basically what online exists for. It's me, Matt Rebar, joined by our jury. Uh, we got Logan Molnar and Raina Butel on the call today. How we doing? Doing great. So well, good. Glad to be back. So good. Glad to be back. We've from missed Wisconsin. you, Raina. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's jump into this one. So season one, Am I the Asshole Thread? This is the situation. Am I the asshole for making my husband and kids leave the house for the weekend? Oh. Hmm. So she kicked everyone out for the weekend. She wants to know she's the asshole. Let's take a looky-loo. I, 30-year-old female, have been married to my hubby, 34 male, for seven years now. We have two kids, ages five and eight. Hubby and I both have advanced degrees and work in healthcare, but I'm the breadwinner for the family. This past Monday, I offered to pay for a trip for him and the kids because I really wanted to have the house to myself for a weekend. Well, me and a couple of girlfriends, we all pitched in to have a couple manicurists come over for the day. Really, it's a girl's weekend. We live in Florida, so I paid for the three of them to go to Disney. Food, fast passes, rooms, etc. We're all included this deal. Hubby tells me that I'm selfish for wanting a house to myself and that the trip is geared more towards the kids. So what is he supposed to do? I told him the Disney thing wasn't set in stone, so if he wants to pick somewhere else, that's fine. He suggested they spend the weekend in North Carolina at the Outer Banks, and that really pissed me off because we were planning on spending a week there in October because neither of us had been there. I told him we were already planning a trip to go there, and I'd rather we just all go the first time together. At this point, he's annoyed and tells me to just buy the ethnic Disney tickets and be done with it. So that happened. I thought I was being generous with my deal, but apparently hubby thinks I'm being unaccommodating. This isn't the first time we've had spats like this over trips either. All right. What do we think? Huh. I would love to be in a position financially where I could be like, we have arguments over vacations all the time. Like, (laughs) uh, first world problem here, but we got to figure out if one of them's an a-hole. So just throwing that out there. I think it's wild that, number one, regardless of where they go, he thinks that it's selfish that she wants alone time Mm -hmm. i think everyone deserves alone time Mm -hmm. you know it's regardless if that's from your kids from your husband from your roommate from whoever it's nice to be by yourself every once in a while or like switch up the routine and be with other people Mm -hmm. so for him to be calling her selfish especially when she's offering to pay for all of it she's not like hey figure it out you know she's like here's what's happening Mm -hmm. it's all paid for have fun i don't know that's insane to me here's okay i have to agree with reina too like the fact that it's like oh darn and i simply can't do disneyland with the kids um (laughs) that is such privileged problems for sure but then too like okay if the concept is i'm taking a five and an eight year old somewhere isn't disney world a great option if it's in the backyard i mean he's like well it's geared towards the kids but you're a dad like you signed up to do dad things like I don't know. I mean, could you go to the Outer Banks with kids? Absolutely. You probably could go anywhere. I mean, if you want to go to Las Vegas with kids, that's fine. But like, you know, how are you going to do adult stuff if it's you and the kids? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you go to Vegas and you're like, I'm going to go gamble. Kids stay in the room unless you're a bad father. The part that really kind of irks my gears is kind of it feels like she just sprung this on him. It was like, here, you go to Disney and I will enjoy the house. I am the breadwinner. And it's like, can you guys not like talk? Can you guys not be like, okay, you get this weekend and then I'll do a weekend next month with the kids. Like, yeah. I feel like the communication and the assumption uh, is here, you know, just cause you've been married to someone for seven years, 10 years, 20 years, 40 years or seven days or dating someone for three weeks. It's communication. Talk mm-hmm. to someone say, I would like the house for a three day weekend. I'm having girls over you and the kids. Can you go, go do something? You know, and at that point, if he's like, well, I mean, no, then he's in the wrong for sure. But I, I don't love the assumption. I think it's a little assumptive, personally. That's fair. Yeah, I definitely interpreted it. As, I mean, like, I definitely agree with all of that. Um, but I also interpreted the part of the dad kind of like, hey, you know, maybe I could have an opinion here. And mm-hmm. she's like, nope, it's Disney. I already wrote the check. So she did say, to be fair, she said he because he countered with Outer Banks and she said, well, we were all supposed to do that together in October. She says, I told him we are already planning. um, What is Outer Banks? What is it? Uh, North Carolina. Is it like a beach? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. And then here's the line. I told him the Disney Myrtle Beach kind of deal. 
I told him Disney wasn't set in stone. So if he wants to pick somewhere else, that's fine. So it wasn't like you must do this. That's true. But it wasn't exactly like, you know what I mean? It was kind of. Yeah. I'm going to defend her real quick. I know nothing about her, but maybe (laughs) she knows that, you know, he's not a huge planner because like she's saying, hey, in October, we're already planning the Outer Banks. So she probably planned that one as well. So maybe she's just trying to help and just say, hey, look, I did I did it all for you. Um, but if you don't like it, you can choose somewhere else, you know. Mm-hmm. But I don't just I you know, if you have plans with someone to do something at a later date and they do it, that is really upsetting. So mm-hmm. the fact that he knows about their plans to go to the Outer Banks and he's like, but I want to go there now. That's yeah, I feel like that is he's kind of being spiteful to her mm-hmm. in a way. So it, yeah, it's for me. I know I I have a judgment already. I don't know if you guys are at that point, if it, or if you want to talk it out a little bit more in the jury room. I have my decision. Mm. I think. I just feel like if dad doesn't want a dad, then <laughs> yeah, dad's an a hole. But yeah. if mom is really like hell bent on like planning this person's trip Mm -hmm. even kind of just on the basis of i'll make the decision for you can pick a place but i'll make the decision the executive decisions Mm -hmm. i wouldn't personally like that um i'm really in the I'm really on the fence here. I need you two to go first because I need to make my decision. I think everyone sucks here. I think she was a little too presumptuous with uh, just being like, here's the Disney passes. And I think his response with the Outer Banks and then also his response of like, oh, like, I don't want to go on a vacation just for the kids. Like, but you, what, what? Like that part was confusing to me. I, I think she, I think she should have been better with communication. I think he needs to like, calm down a little bit so i I would say everyone sucks here personally i'm going not the asshole imagine if someone said hey i just need a quick little breather like i just i've been stressed and i just want to hang out with my friends here is a planned trip to disney go hang out with our kids like go have the best time of your life good luck everything's paid for and you complain about that oh my gosh Uh uh-uh would you okay here's the thing if mm-hmm. I, like, let's say we were a couple in some dimension <gasps> and dream. I came home <laughs> every day, I just dream it. And I came home and I was like, here's a Kia in the driveway. It's your new Kia that I bought you. Like, isn't what? that presumptuous? Isn't that like, um, like, I appreciate. No, that's, sure. that's a car. Thank you so much. I appreciate you buying See, me a I car. I think most people would be like, I want to talk about that. I, that's a big thing to plan. Like Disney, I don't know how much she spent. I I'm betting it was a three five thousand dollar package, right? I mean, multiple days. Probably. You had the hotel. You got the food. You got. She said it's all covered. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I a just, car's a little different because that's like a a pay commitment. You know, like yeah. keep paying until you die or until it dies. Sorry, <laughs> um, but does it's just here. <laughs> Again, though, it's one thing to be like, I will pay for you to go to Disney versus Mm -hmm. I have already booked and paid for you to go to Disney. You're going to Disney. Two different ways, two big different ways. It's not the act per se. It's just Mm -hmm. how she went around the act, right? For me. Mm -hmm. But Raina, do you have a judgment? Literally, the only thing I can like see like flashing in front of my eyes is like, we spat over vacations all the time yeah so i just feel like everyone sucks here on the basis of like you guys need to figure it out like you guys argue about vacations like they have tons of privilege figure it out yeah i mean yeah i i do think everybody sucks here though um i definitely agree with the car thing with like i know talk like talk about this I don't feel like the dad has a real issue with the girl's time. He might, but that doesn't seem like her issue either. Like that is mm-hmm. like that doesn't seem like the the wife's focus. Mm-hmm. But I feel like everyone kind of sucks. Yeah. Really bad. But yeah. <laughs> So I don't know if this has ever happened before, but all three of us are wrong. The thread said, you're the asshole, honey. (gasps) 
What? That mm -hmm. has never God. happened. Top one, you're the asshole. You just told your husband what he'll be doing with the children without any input from him and expected him to be happy. Of course he's not. Second top comment, you're the asshole. You basically sent him away from his own home with the kids. Imagine if the roles were reversed and he sent you away with the kids when you didn't want to go so you could have the guys around. Move your girls weekend to a fancy hotel. And if your hubby decides to take the kids away from the weekend, that's his choice, not your demand. The third top comment, you're the asshole. Taking two kids to chill uh, to Disney for the weekend isn't vacation for him. It's exhausting. If you want to have a girl's weekend, you should be the one going somewhere, not him. You kick him out of his own house and you complain because of where he wants to go. You're being extraordinarily selfish here. You don't even seem to care about anyone else's desires or needs except your own. And the fourth one is YTA. The fifth one is YTA. The sixth oh top God. comment is YTA. Seven is y, uh, you know YTA. The ninth one it. says info. Do you usually treat your husband like he's one of your children? 10 is YTA. 11, I mean, they're they are very heavy you're the asshole here well i still don't think she's an asshole so if anyone wants to give me a trip to disney or a <laughs> kia please feel free because i will gladly accept it i will I mean, literally the, thread, disney the thread doesn't seem like the thread's not saying you're the asshole for wanting space it's more about like yeah. assuming about and it. like going about it and it's that yeah. that part makes Which her the fair. asshole so i i do get that i'm not trying to be completely blind yeah. to that i just I, I i think i definitely see that in her but i think he was kind of being a little difficult too i also think bit. the thread saying oh well a trip to disney isn't a vacation like you still have to be with the kids he's a dad he's always I gonna agree. have kids and stuff it's like yeah mm -hmm. no shit like that's what he chose you know yeah. like if you didn't want kids on your vacation then you shouldn't have had kids but that's a yeah. whole other discussion that no one's ready for so Truth. All right. Well, what an excellent judgment today, you guys. And we'll be back next time with more judginess. So until then, peace out. Judgment Day is a podcast by Starvolt Studios. Judgment Day is executively produced by Matt Rebar, Logan Molnar, and Raina Butel. For more awesome content, just go to StarvoltStudios.com or on their Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter page.